Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fourth round of the Champions Retirement League. Of course, we're in China, one of the best tracks for me historically. I think I have double digits of wins here in league races. Anyhow, the lights are on. Fifth light, and off we go. We're starting in the fourth position of people who are actually starting the race, fifth on the grid, and we're in a bit of a uh, precarious situation here as Danielson's down the inside and ooh, almost contact there. Now we seem to be in a bit of a Mercedes sandwich as HSV is ahead in his silver arrows and uh, we're just trying to maintain position at this part of the race because we are ooh, we're on the prime tyre and may have an advantage towards the end of the race uh, as we take the P3 from HSV and we get bottled up there behind Stalin so that may hand P3 back to HSV, and indeed he does come down the inside. But we are... Oh! Wow, we've slightly had some contact there. And thankfully we've both been able to continue. There's some side-by-side -side action towards the end of the lap, and HSV looks like he might overtake Stalin for P2, and he does accomplish that. But we are unable to make hay of any situational benefit we could have got there. And all oh, there's contact in the battle for the lead, HSV spins out as Pinga Shoba retains the lead. We are trying to make a move here on Stalin, but Pinga Shoba is uh, on the line that we needed to completely overtake. So that did not happen. Stalin there going around the outside of Pinga Shoba for the lead. We're going to try and follow suit at the next corner down the inside. We may have gone a little bit deep though. And the over-under is completed by the Ferrari driver, I believe. Yes, there he is emerging on the right. Good move by him. And, oh, is he understeering off? Yes. Oh, we couldn't quite get back underneath. And, oh, almost two Ferraris in that collision there. Three Ferrari-powered drivers. And Andre slips through. So now we're in a P3 again behind a different Ferrari driver. But he's made a slight error there. We might be able to get him on this straight. We're very close. We're going to have DRS on lap three, obviously. So this should be a formality. Let's see. Oh, a little bit of lag there. He's also on the prime, so this is a battle that I uh, need to win in order to have a shot at Stalin at some point. And indeed, we complete the move at the hairpin, but all this is letting Stalin uh, escape at the front. And indeed, Andre still, uh, the battle's not over. As Stalin sets the fastest lap. Andre was down the inside there, but uh, unable to complete the move as the outside seems to be a bit of a battle line uh, into the next part of the complex. And Stalin uh, extends his lead with the fastest lap and pits at the end of lap six. So he'll do eight laps on prime tyres for the end of the race. And I think I'll pit the next lap to do seven laps on uh, options. So uh, I'll have the advantage in pace, but we'll see if his gap is big enough and whether the durability of my tyres may be a problem. And the first gap I encountered is 5.7, so that's going to be quite a feat to catch, although I do cut it down to 3.3 by the, uh, three laps to go with a fastest lap. And with just four sectors left, two seconds is the gap. And you know, told you. And it's looking not very likely, although as we're around the final corner for the penultimate time, that gap has come down by 8 tenths to 1.3 1 1 basically. And we'll follow this lap to see just how close I can get my Sauber to Stalin's Red Bull. Have I left the charge too late? Will they held up a bit too much in that opening stint while I was on primes? We shall see. Anyhow, we've made it quite a nice line through that first complex. Although it doesn't look like we've caught up too much, perhaps a tenth or two. Yeah, 1.1. And now we're entering the sector where uh, being in the dirty air is absolutely horrible. So let's just see if we can maintain uh, a good line through here. Yet yeah, we haven't understeered off crazily, and indeed we're actually catching up. So this could be on. We're going to be within DRS for the DRS straight. We've made a really nice. Um, sector here actually. What's the gap going to be as we enter the last sector of the race? 
It's half a second. I don't know how Stalin's holding us, so we've only just caught him. And anyhow, oh, there's a little bit of wheel spin. Can we still make this move up? He's harvesting uh, Urs. And uh, let's see if we can open the DRS now. We you know enough straight line speed to make the move. He's taking the inside line, but we're going to take a, an even more inside line and adopt the racing line. We're going to get through. Yes, we made it. All we have to do now is make sure we have a clean final corner. We're going to win this race, having just taken the lead for the first time. The two corners to go. We've gone wide. Is he going to get back? No, we've done it. We made a mistake, but we've still done it. Stalin and I once again turning it on. What a fantastic battle that was from everyone involved. I've been Jacko guys and uh, see you for the next round in Spain.